Hey guys, um, I believe today is June 4th. I am off today. It's Monday and I am off today. Um, I'm not really doing that much. I'm just hanging out at home. Um, I was recently just doing the dishes. They're all done. I just have to dry them and put them away finally. I'm just gonna have to like, I just got rid of the stuff in the sink here. Whoop. <laughs> So I gotta like rinse it out, clean it out, and then um, put away all the dishes here that are clean. Exciting. So the counter has been cleaned off too. Like I got messy and then I cleaned it and somewhat clean now. Um, it is kind of a crappy day. It's raining and it's not as like, it's like bright, but like it's not like as nicely bright. Like it would be if it was like super sunny, but I'm hoping that the sun does like light up a bit and that it does get uh sunny just because it is kind of like crummy outside and it's not very nice so um I didn't really finish the other video but I didn't want to hop on there and say anything so I'll just kind of like end it out um I wanted to do a little bit of a haul from the other day um when I went to where I went on Friday, um, I have a little bit of updated news for the car, because I said that I was going car shopping. Um, so I do have some news, and I will update you that after I do the haul. Um, I'm kind of hoping that I do have everything here from when I did go shopping, just because I think some places did get a little bit um, misplaced, and that's totally fine, just because... I mean, most of it I can kind of already see and stuff like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did get. Um, some of it was for camping purposes just because um, we are going camping within the next little bit. And I wanted to get some stuff that we needed if we are, like, planning to start doing more camping. So, I will... Get, go ahead I'm just kind of cleaning up a little bit of the garbage like the bags that were around and like all that stuff just because and like Victor has some of his stuff piled on my stuff so I just kind of want to like get it all organized and get rid of some of the stuff that uh, is around here I'm just gonna like quickly kind of actually I'll probably just show you and kind of grab some stuff as I go along just because um, that way it'll work out good and I can just show you instead of like just pointing it out and being like, oh, by the way, oh, I'm not sure if this is actually high enough. I might need to get something a little more higher for it to sit on just cause I don't want you guys to like be like, oh, here, look at me. <laughs> like look right at my boobs or something. Oh, now that looks too high though. Okay, I guess this isn't that bad. I feel like it's like not ang it's kind of angled up. That's totally fine because I'm just going to be showing you some stuff. So, you guys are currently sitting on my box of garbage bags. So, I'm going to first off start with the things that I didn't get for camping just cuz we who cares about all the camping stuff. So, I actually did end up buying these black cherry scented candles. I actually have one burning right now in a candle holder that I bought. Um, I'll show you that at the end when I'm done um, filming everything else. Um, they do smell quite nice. Um, I actually did also get the same black cherry but in incense six. And um, they actually don't even smell that good. They kind of smell like a combination of puke and something else like it's not very nice actually it's kind of gross <laughs> and I don't think I'll be um using them anymore <laughs> and then I also got this other candle um all this stuff is from the Dollar Tree unless the other stuff I show you but I'll show you the stuff from excuse me the Dollar Tree um it is this candle here I'm not sure if you guys can read that it's pink Moscato it's kind of like a, a it's actually kind of nice it reminds me of a smell from when I was a kid so and then I also did get this one here it's peach passion fruit iced tea oh my and it smells like a juice when I was a kid but it also kind of smells like that chapstick when you were like 
way back when and <laughs> like a little uh, this smells like a kid chapstick okay um i think that's most of the home decor stuff i'm gonna start and show you the um like the more for like camping wise stuff so i got these bubbles here in this like a wand of bubbles it's for Tori when we go camping um, I want to make sure that she has activities to keep herself occupied when we're not like at the beach or swimming and stuff like that so and then I also got her this baseball bat with a ball at the end this is all still from the Dollar Tree it's kind of interesting I really it's just plastic right like she doesn't need anything expensive or anything right so <laughs> Um, another thing that I also got were these bowls, just these plastic bowls, there's four of them. Um, I thought about using these just for camping, but then I also kind of thought about using them here for, like, Tori, just because we had, um, we had a plastic bowl for her, I think, but it broke. So, this way, it'll be actually quite good to have plastic bowls. I might actually just keep, like, one here separately for Tori. And then use the remaining three for when we go camping. Because there's only three of us. So it's not like we need more than three. So I guess that's a good thing. Um, I also bought us toothbrushes. With the holders that go with them. Um, and I figured why take our toothbrushes with us. When we can literally just use these for camping. Like crappy toothbrushes. Because why would I want to bring my expensive toothbrush with me and then lose it and then have to go out and buy another one, right? So, I also did buy, oh, I guess this was for home stuff. I did buy um, an, another ice cube tray. There's two of them here. And then I did also buy this one for, like, a smaller one just because I have, like, water bottles and they have, like, these small little openings. So, I figured smaller ice cubes would be better. And actually, I think this one is actually smaller than my other one, too, that I, like, have right now at the house. So, um, and then I bought these lavender-scented garbage bags. Just, like, small bags. They're not, like, really, like, huge, overwhelming bags. Because I bought this, uh, well, it's technically, I guess, a basket for whatever. It's not, it doesn't, it just says basket on it, but... But I'm going to use it as, like, the garbage for inside the tent kind of thing. Just because, um, stuff happens in the tent. And I'd rather prefer to have a garbage in the tent just so I can just toss everything out. Especially at night or something. And, you know, you have, like, a way of throwing it out. Um, and then I also bought this dustpan and little broom handle thing just so I can sweep out the tent and also for the garbage inside the tent that works perfect for it um just because my mom at some point she was talking about how she bought like a broom handle and uh, a dustpan to sweep inside the tent which because when we went camping with her that's what she would do and it makes more sense to have just because and then I also bought this, like, pop-up mesh hamper for the, um, time we go camping, just so we can put everything in it. And then I could probably even collapse it with the clothes in it, which is totally fine. I mean, not, like, intensely, like, as small as this, but at least I can probably close it a little bit, so that way keeps the dirty clothes off to the side I was thinking of also buying like a bag but and then I bought Tori these glow flowers they're both pink they're just like little wands and it says that it lasts for hours and I figured that she could play with this at the night of the camp like when we have a fire she can play with the little wand and I bought two of these because we're going two nights and I figured that was well enough for her and then I also bought her this splash ring for ages four and up, which she is four. It's about 20 inches, so like that's not that big, but it's enough for her. So when we go swimming in the pool or the uh, when we go to the beach, like at least she can use this. And um, I never bought her like a life jacket or anything, so 
but I'm hoping that she really enjoys that and um, I also bought these cups they're like small little pink cups and I figured why not put like juice or you know like a cup of water in here for Tori like we'll be buying like um she has water bottles like that because she takes a water bottle to school which is totally fine so that might be for more like when we go to the beach or something or out like we put water in it and stuff like that and okay there's no room in there <laughs> um I think that is everything from the Dollar Tree but side note on some of the stuff um I bought this mug, King of the Grill, from the Dollar Tree, and I was going to give it to my dad for Father's Day, just because he, like, loves barbecuing and stuff, and he does drink coffee sometimes <laughs> in the morning and stuff, so I figured why not give this to him as a Father's Day present, like, as he gets older and as I get older, it's like, there's not as many exciting things to get him anymore, so I figured a mug, why not? He can drink out of it and use it, so... I'm sure that will be fun. And then I got this best dad here thing. Um, I figured that will be cute for my dad because he's a really good dad. And I thought it would be cute for him. So, And then um, on a side note, uh, stuff that I didn't buy at the Dollar Tree. But I honestly, oh, I did buy a couple more things actually. I will show you one second. Um, so first of all, uh, these are also from the Dollar Tree, and I wanted to show you these little tiny things. They're just magnets clips, and I figured that way we can just hang Tori's artwork, and some of the stuff actually I'll be taking down from <laughs> the fridge just because it looks really crowded now, and I'll put it in the bin for her. And then I also got these three stickers. Well, they're not stickers, they're actually magnets, which I think is good. They're dry erase, so they're great for, you know, reminders and stuff like that. So this one says, when I get to it, for example, clean up. <laughs> Don't forget to call doctor, and then it says to do, and then, yeah. And then I thought, I thought it was just, you know, some organization things that I can keep on the fridge, which is great for... So I thought that was totally excellent. And then, okay, so some of the stuff that I didn't buy from the Dollar Tree was I bought this Flavor Infuser water bottle. I mean, I have another one, but it's from the Dollar Store, and it's kind of broken, and I don't really like it that much. So I figured that this would be great. And then I bought Victor um, another water bottle. But I think he took it to work with him. It's a green water bottle. It's just a regular water bottle. Kind of looks like that, but not quite like that. And then I also wanted to say that I bought these placemats that say yum on it. They're just, you know, easy to wipe down placemats. And I bought four of them just because there's four chairs at our table. So I figured four of them can be in each spot. Typically, I keep them underneath my centerpiece in the table anyways, so. And on a side note, I also did get these from the Dollar Tree, but um, I got these for learning purposes for Tori, minus the coloring book that I got her, because I got her this um, My Little Pony coloring book. I figured she could color this um, when we go camping. I did try to look for, like, crayons in the Dollar Store just to keep them, you know, uh, side note for when we do go camping because she has so many here but I figured instead of taking them with us and f losing them or whatever I figured I can just buy like some dollar store ones but um I couldn't find any crayons there so I might have to hit up our dollar store just to see about that and then I actually got her a, a numbers a write and wipe workbook so it's kind of like like a dry erase kind of thing so you like you know and I figured this would be perfect for her I mean she does do she wow she does know her numbers quite well now actually personally I, I think that she's doing a great job at it but she's I want her to start like learning to write the numbers out instead of like she can write like you know a six but she can't write the you know the word six so I'm hoping this will help her a little bit more, and it'll be fun activities to do. 
I want to make sure that, you know, she's learning still over summer and there's stuff that she can work on, hopefully, like, that she can improve on and stuff like that. So when she goes into senior kindergarten, she'll, you know, like, she's already smart to begin with, so that is, like, totally awesome. But, like, I want her to make sure that, like, she knows to, like, you know, learn absolutely new things, right? I feel like this is just a weird angle that you're staring at me. But, and then I also got her this letter sound book. So I'm hoping that this will teach her to pronounce words more and hopefully get the idea of, like, learning to write words and, like, you know, like, B. For some reason, there's no A. Oh, they're just, like, random letters. It goes from, like, letter B, C to D and F. I don't know why there's no A, though. It's kind of weird. But, you know, things that start with B, right? What would start with B? A boat. A basketball. Etc. Like, that way she can also, you know, color them in, too. It'll be exciting. Like, I feel like she'll have a lot of fun with this, and she'll learn new things. And I'm sorry about the water on my... Hopefully it's actually not coffee. And then I bought her an addition book. Uh, she is great with math, don't get me wrong. But um, she kind of only knows to 10 right now. So I'm hoping that she starts to maybe learn other addition. And I think this might be a little too old for her. But I'm hoping that... Because I know she doesn't know what 8 plus 7 is. But I'm hoping that um, some of the easier ones, like... Let's see here. You know, she's got... I got um, this stuff in here. So, like, a 3 plus 3 equals 6. A 5 plus 4 equals 9. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, like, it's kind of interesting because in the, there's, like, oh, 2 donuts plus 2 donuts equals 4 donuts. So, but some of the stuff in the back is a little more um, equipped. It's, like, more for older kids. So, but I'm hoping that we can get a head start on some stuff. And then here, like, 3 plus 2 equals, or whatever this is supposed to be, 1 plus 2 equals 3. There we go. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. But I'm hoping that she can, well, we can just do the easy ones, like 1 plus 7, 8. She probably won't be able to do 8 plus 7, or 5 plus 7, or 6 plus 7. So I'm hoping that uh, she can... Do some of the easier things for her. And then I also got her this. I never noticed that it was two-sided, honestly. I just saw the letters and the, you know, where she can learn to write in the lines. Because eventually she's going to have to do that, right? When she gets older, they're going to have to, you know, write in the lines. Like, you can't just, like, it, it'll help her write her name smaller. And it'll help her, you know, stay in a straight line. And... You know, all the things that, like, we had, to, we had to learn when we were kids. So, I'm hoping that this really, really does help her. And I also want to um, go ahead and start talking about the car now. Just because that is I pretty much everything that I did buy. Um, I did buy, like, a couple of shirts for Victor. But I'm not sure where they are right now. So, I'm just literally going to leave those to wherever he put them. Um... There's just a couple Star Wars ones, and then I think one was some other design from something, so. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the car. And then I'm literally, I think I'm gonna start a vlog next after this. This will be like a sit down, chat with me kind of video. And then the next one will actually be a vlog with Tori, because it is 12.42, and Tori has to be picked up within the next hour and a half or so. So... And I'm kind of glad that I did get some of my jobs done for everything. So, um, but anyways, so I did go and I did see uh, about the car. I will actually insert a picture somewhere along here anywhere of what the car was. Um, cause I know not everyone's good with cars. It was a Mazda CX-5, I think, or it might've been a CX-3. I might have to double check in that. Um, but I was looking at it, and it was about 20000 It was used. It was 2014. Um, it was 
super nice and had like all the features that I wanted like a sunroof and Bluetooth and stuff like that silly thing Bluetooth I think is kind of a necessity that, like that you need as like times keep going and going just because like a phone is like such a big part of our lives now like a cell phone and I figured Bluetooth would be like the best option for that just because uh, calling wise um not because I don't text and drive as it is so but like I can connect my phone up and play my music like I do that in my phone in my car now but it might be a little bit different with the Bluetooth I don't need wires or anything because well in my car it's a 2005 Mazda 3 hatchback so it's like uh I have an a AM FM transmitter kind of thing so that also doesn't really help just because I don't have like an auxiliary port whereas this car I think had an auxiliary port but it also had um, Bluetooth so Bluetooth you know you would sh play your music through Bluetooth technically um, but it was really nice like it was kind of like a blackish grayish kind of color on the outside black interior which is totally fine I have black interior now it, it does get hot though I agree with everyone that says that and people always don't want black interior but i don't see what the big difference is because a car is going to get hot inside anyways regardless of what interior you have it won't get as hot i would feel like but it would get pretty hot um but see i was about to get the car i was about to pick it up actually tomorrow which is tuesday june 6 but um <laughs> Instead, I um, I was technically approved. The bank was going to approve me, but I needed a co-signer in order to be approved, which was fine. Like I didn't technically I didn't technically technically get declined for a, uh, like the loan to do the car. It's just um, I just needed a co-signer, which is totally fine. So in a way, I did get declined, but I also didn't. Um, but I'm, I'm hoping in a couple months, since I do have all my, um, credit under control now, I'm hoping that in a couple months it'll be, like, totally fine and, like, okay. And, um, like my stepmom said, it takes about, like, three months or so to kind of go, like, back to normal-ish after you pay it. I mean, there's always going to be that point where, like, you still had bad credit, but, like, it just won't be as bad as, like, you've had it, like, before. So I'm hoping that that works out well. But I'm going to go car shopping with my mom instead because she's like, oh, did you talk them down? Did you get the price down? Did you negotiate with them? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, mom, I don't know what to do for that. Like, this is my first time ever purchasing an actual car from a dealership. Because I got mine used from, like, a crappy butthole place. So... <sighs> <laughs> but like so my mom's like okay I'll take you shopping I will show you the ropes blah 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 we'll look at other vehicles so I was, like I had I wanted I've always wanted the Mazda CX-5 Mazda CX-5s are actually more money than the CX-3s I don't exactly know what the difference is but like the exterior is like pretty much the same I think actually the cx fives just have a little more room whereas the CX-3s are actually just a little smaller but I wanted the I wanted the CS5, and that's exactly what it was. They had C, I don't think they had any CX threes in use, like like the U section, but they did have them new. Um, but the new ones are like thirty three thousand. I was like, well, that'll just take even longer to pay off, and probably a bigger payment throughout the month. So, figured this would be easier. Sorry, I'm just like watching the rain fall. <laughs> But, uh, I'm so fascinated by the rain. It's been actually really hot here, so this video is getting really long, so I'm going to go ahead and um, finish talking now. So, that is for that. Um, but I'm going to start looking within the next month, probably the end of this month to the beginning of July for the summertime. Um, and my runner-up vehicle was a Dodge Journey, so I'm hoping maybe I can either find either or wherever I go and look. So I'm going to be looking where my mom lives and I'm hoping it goes well and something does happen. So fingers crossed on that stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start cleaning up a little bit more, putting away all this uh, camping stuff, you know, storing it for when we go next couple weeks. 
Um, I'll probably be filming then. Anyways, we're going camping in my dad's campground with him. So, and then another couple weeks after that, I'm going camping with my mom at a different campground. So, it'll be exciting. But I am going to go now. Sorry, I'm like looking at my eyelashes. <laughs> but I'm going to go now and I'm going to end this just so I can edit it and do whatever I need to do to um, get it a little bit shorter. So... I will see you guys later. Bye.